19th century Bavaria for a very sad story about two of my favorite subjects, industrial theft and bazooms. <laughs> One night at the opera, he saw an Aida, whose bus was so big it would often impede her. But guy, he watched her fall into the pit, dumbed by the weight of those terrible pits. Oh my God, there she blows. Aerodynamically, this girl was a man. Otto eyeballed the diva lying comatose amongst the reeds, and he suddenly felt the fire of his fresh and flood his soul. He ran back to his workshop where he fought Point the small ones to the sky oh, 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 oh. to keep the big ones high and dry. Every night he sweat and snort, searching for the right support. He tried some string and paper clips. Hey, he even tried his own tulip. Well, he stitched and he slaved, he slaved, he stitched until finally one night in the wee hours of morning, Otto arose from his workbench, triumphant. Yes, he had invented the world's first over-the-shoulder boulder holder. Hooray! Exhausted but ecstatic, Otto ran out to the diva, bearing the prototype in his hot little hand. But little did Otto know, at the moment of his greatest triumph, lurking under the diva's bed, was none other than the very worst of the French patentees, Philip de Brazil. Bill was watching the scene with a great deal of interest. <laughs> Later that night, while our Aida slept into the wardrobe fleets of the crutch, he fumbled through knickers and corsets galore till he found Otto's kid's sling and he ran out the door, crying, Oh my God, what joy, what bliss! I'm gonna make me a million from this. Every woman in the world who wanna buy one, I will have all. Or do you buy a Brazil?